I don't know why, but for some reason, when I press record on the camera, it gets darker than what it initially was because it was like brighter in here before I press record. But <clears throat> today was real hard, y'all. Like, it was so hard. It wasn't like nothing in particular. I just was having a fucked up day, like a bad day. And um, I wasn't proactive today. All I did was work out, but that was it. I did a very, very intense workout. Um, I don't usually sweat, but I sweat. And it made me feel better. I don't know, life is just hard. Like, every aspect of it is very hard. And I'm tired of, like, acting like I'm okay. I'm not. I'm not okay. I lost a sibling not even two months ago. I lost my boyfriend that I love, that I still do love. Um, I'm lost within myself. I know that there's stuff that I need to do and fix. So I feel like I just lost, 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 and I haven't gained anything. So it's like, it's been like really hard on me. I I have days where I push through, but today was just not one of those days. Like, I literally like, <clears throat> sorry, I'm looking at the TV too. I literally like curled up in a ball and like stayed in bed all day. And I know that's not good. I know people are going to be like, you got to get up, you got to do this. That's another thing. Like, I just put my phone on the night I cried a lot. I videoed me crying a lot and debated if I was going to post it or not, which I realized that I'm not. Um, I'm not going to post it. Maybe, like, down the line sometime, but right now everything is just really, really fresh, and I don't want to post it. It's sad that we get, we have emotions, and we don't want people, like, even on social media, you know, you put up facades as if you're okay, and, like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of portraying this girl that I'm not, and I'm, truth be told, I'm very, very, um, emotional when I'm by myself, like, it's just a lot, like, everything has been, like, and the losses that I've taken have felt like they've been forced, like, by the laws of nature, <laughs> some weird higher being like my brother you know of course that was something that I couldn't have stopped or I'm trying not to cry <laughs> that was something I couldn't have stopped um with me the losses I've taken within myself like I, be I became this like person that I don't want to be anymore I think this the last three months have been karmatic for me like learning experiences that I needed to become something different I wanted to I wanted to become something different I wanted to become something better um I still do I still do want to be better and um just tired of hiding who I am or sugarcoating it like I'm human and I have these emotions and like I said I feel like these losses have been like forced like even with my boyfriend like I didn't I don't I didn't want to leave my boyfriend but it was like everything just forced it was forced and it was stuff that I couldn't help and um especially not in that situation because you know I wanted a life with him I wanted to get grow old I wanted to have children I wanted to get married with, with him so it's going to be hard like redirecting it um my interest is not even I don't even have interest in like doing it all over again so I don't know like it's just been really hard today like hard and I posted earlier you know today was horrible and I kind of captioned like I know a lot of people will, you know their ego is being stroked like hell right now but that's the thing like I really just don't care anymore don't care like if you feel good about me being hurt <laughs> I don't know what to say like, I don't know what to say so you, some people
people get a kick out of especially if like I'm on social media like everything is okay all, all the way up until this point and then y'all finally see me in rare form broken it's like yeah I know some people probably on the vibe like yeah bitch like you got what you deserve whatever the case may be I know people are like that like and I know people are evil and I know that people are not for me so I expect that I expect to get that type of attention <clears throat> but I'm emotionally tired I want to be happy so bad I want to be happy so bad I'm trying not to cry <laughs> I want to be happy so bad I want to um, I don't remember what it felt like it sounds cliche but I really don't like for me like I don't remember what it feels like but I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired of fighting I just don't want to fight with anyone anymore I don't want to fight with myself I don't want to I, and, and I'm I'm getting the help that I need in every way and people who know me that I've opened up to recently knows what I'm talking about in order to get there I have to to do it for me for my kids I just have to do it because if I don't, it's just going to be one everlasting cycle my whole life. And I don't want that for me. I don't want that for them. And it's just been hard. Like, it's been really hard. Um, the kids haven't taken it hard. So, you got to, like, know that. Two men have been like pushed out of their lives and not due to their fault and they don't understand it so and they don't have really anybody as far as male figures though so. I heard for them I heard for them they don't understand why and um my oldest daughter, you know, she's taking it really hard. So it's just been hard. It's just been hard for me. <clears throat> and I don't want pity. This is me. Like I just, I just want to be like known for me. And I'm not gonna fake like I'm okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And it's okay to be not okay. Like, it's okay to not to be okay all the time. And I'm not okay. Because regardless to what I've made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes. And and I'm sorry for those mistakes. For anybody that I've hurt. I'm I'm really, really sorry. Really sorry. Because I'm tired. I feel like the people that I've heard, their karma, my karma's coming back. So I'm really sorry. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. Um, I wish I could hit a reset, a reset button in my life like to go back because I don't have another chance at this you know at life you know this is it for me so um so what's been done is done And it's not, I'm not going to just sit here and put it all on me. Like, for people who have done me wrong as well, like, I'm trying to forgive. I'm trying to, Lord knows I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to fix myself. But I'm giving it to specialists because I don't think I can do it alone. And I don't think I can do it by myself. It's hard to go through something 
and do it alone. So I'm grieving my brother. And I have family. I have family that's around, but they're also grieving. So I don't want to be like a burden on anybody. Or I don't want to talk about it too much and then people, you know, like stray away from me because they feel like I'm talking about it too much. Or I just have, I have a lot of hurt in me right now. A lot of hurt. And it hurts worse because I'm so alone. So I come to a camera and talk to the camera. And my intent wasn't even to come on here and like do all of this. I was <clears throat> I was just gonna come on here and talk talk about my day. I'm just dying for something here, like relationships, friendships, whatever it is, like just somebody here, somebody who like loves me in all forms, and I'm not just talking about relationships, I'm talking friendships, I'm talking people in general, like even when, just don't give up on me, like somebody that just wouldn't, just won't, like no matter what, like that's what I want for me. currently one in the morning and I don't know I just don't I feel so weird I feel so weird like when you have like people around you that you think the world of them and then they're gone I just didn't want to be alone in this I didn't want to be alone so. but I am to get through this alone. And my kids are seeing it, they're seeing. It. I'm sorry y'all. <sighs> they're seeing their mom not want to be a mom. Not want to this is real like this is real like this is my life this is my life and I feel selfish I feel selfish that I feel this way and there's people out there who are losing children and their son you know their sons and their daughters and are homeless and don't know where they're going to get food from and I'm complaining about how I feel like I feel selfish so I don't I don't talk about it I don't say nothing to nobody really And I'm going to get the courage to post this. Even though I'm crying and like <clears throat> I never do. I never post the videos of the raw me because I'm scared of people what people might think, but I have a, no more pride, no more ego in me. Um and you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I had somebody call me the other day. And they were fighting with a family member. And, you know, they wrote, they, they talk about writing this family member off. And, and I told them, at one point, I was really upset at my siblings because I felt like, 
I don't have the same mom as them. So I felt like I was being pushed to the side. So I was really angry at them. They took a trip without me and I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't considered and I was really, really mad. And I remember my brother came over and we were talking about it and I cried, I cried. I was like, you know, I told some tight. And um, I let two months go by and I didn't say anything to him. I didn't tell him how I felt in that two months. I didn't tell him how it hurt me, how I was feeling. And that's usually what I do. I put stuff to the back burner. And I don't tell people what I really feel. And in the midst of that, I get ran over a lot. But this is my brother we're talking about, you know. I just didn't want to tell him how I was really feeling. Um, but the point is, two months went by, and I didn't really talk to him much. Cause I, was, I was kind of upset at all of my siblings. So I let two months go by and we started talking again like normal you know we reached out but I still felt like um I just feel like the black sheep my family I felt like a lot of the family members even when my brother passed and I was around like a lot of family didn't know that I was his sister as well or didn't know who I was and my little sister really like stood up for me when it came to them um so I've always felt that way. I've always felt like I was like left out or whatever. But the point is, I let two months go by, and he died the third month. He died. So I lost two months. I lost two months that I could have been telling him how I felt and maybe gotten closer, more closer than we were. But I told this to the, the person I was talking to, and I was like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it in a relationship. It's not worth it in friendship. It's not worth it with your family. It's just not worth it. Like, not telling people how you feel. And now it's different if you told them how you feel, and you constantly tell them how you feel, and they just don't get it. But for those of whom who you expect to know how you feel, I just don't want to die and people don't know who I am. I know me. Because it, it, it can happen. It can happen that quick. Like, I can be here and not. And all people know is what I put on social media or how I act. And um, that's not me. So, I'm feeling a little stupid because <clears throat> I posted a video yesterday. Um, that I wasn't feeling like this, but like I said in the video yesterday, like I let, I'm starting to let myself feel whatever I'm feeling at the moment. And I just decided to pick up a camera. I have so many videos on my phone that I haven't even posted yet where I just picked up a camera because I want I wanted to see myself. I want to see me because I don't remember her. I used to be so sweet and I was a crybaby and I was just like emotional and I was so sweet and it's just like life these past couple of years have just like tore me apart. And I'm not doing this for attention or pity like I said like I want to be able to look back on my videos and see how far I've came. And, you know, people can say, like, you could do that in your phone, but my channel is something different. I want to see the progress in my channel. I want to see the progress in me and my channel, and I want to be truthful from now on. I'm battling a lot of stuff right now, and I will, I will, I promise to let you guys in on what I'm battling when I win the battle. the type of sadness I feel right now, I'm scared of, I'm scared of it. And 
and it's harder when, like I said when you have to do it alone it's harder and I know my daughters see it I know that they see it I came downstairs earlier and the girls didn't know I was coming downstairs and they were washing the dishes they had cooked for the babies and I love when they do stuff like that without me having to ask and I heard Naya say yo like I really love my mom And I stepped back. I stepped back into the dining room. And I heard Michaela say, I knew too much. I she was happy. So it made me realize that no matter the facade I put on, it must show. It must show that I'm not happy. That I'm hurting. Even when I put on a facade. But the fact that my 11 year old wishes that I was happy. I'm so tired of fighting this battle. I'm tired of fighting this battle with myself. And I'm scared to ask for help. Well, I was. I was scared. It used to be a point in time, just recently, where how people view me was so important. Even in my relationships, like, oh, we can't put up that we're fighting. We can't let people know that we're fighting. Or it was a big deal. Like, he took my pictures down. People know that we're fighting. was a time where that mattered or even when I was struggling here we all right let your guy go hold on two weeks and it wasn't due to us not paying the bill or anything but it was due to the landlord but still the fact is we were in the freezing cold for I think it was three weeks if I'm not mistaken and I was embarrassed by that. I was embarrassed by that. And I didn't have help. I didn't have help. It was literally me and Muhammad. And he made a tent. Because the house was so cold. And we stayed in that tent for three weeks. Just to keep me warm, because I get really, really cold from my evening. But the point is, I was, I didn't, I would never post that on here. Because there's people that hate me who want to see me fail, and they can't see me fail. But I, the truth is, I fell. I fell a lot. And I'm tired of, like, how social media makes us out to be. Like, you have to be this or you're not it. You have to be this or you're not lit. You can't hurt after a breakup. Or you are a weak ass bitch. You can't cry on camera. Because that means you want attention. It's just so many rules in life. And I'm tired. Of keeping up with everybody's rules. I'm tired of. Defending me. Defending why. I do certain things. Or. Why I feel the way I feel. Or being scared that somebody has. A one up on me because. I don't care. I don't care. So. I don't know where to start with this journey. 
But I'm basically going to post this for people like me. For people who are going through the same thing. I'm a broken individual and I want to fix it. I want to fix. I don't want to stay broken. I want to fix it. Because I'm shattered at this point and I let my past do that to me. And I don't like who I am right now. So. And I miss so Kimmy. I miss Kimmy. <laughs> it's a difference. Like, I miss Kimmy. And I know you're like, what? Like, if you, if you knew how I think right now, you would know what I mean. But I miss Kimmy. And I know tons of people who miss her, too. And I'm tired of people like, I stopped crying. I stopped being emotional because that became annoying. You know, you cry so much, so emotional. But crying was my outlet. Crying made me feel better. Crying washed away some of my sorrow. So by me not being emotional, I've been harboring so much. So I think that's why I just keep crying. Because I've been holding on to so much for so long. But I promised myself after today, I said, girl, go ahead. Lay up in the bed. Don't do nothing. Cry. Cry if you want to cry. Be sad. So what you feel, be mad, be angry. Think of what you want to think of. Because it's just you. It's just you. So just do it. And I did it. And today, I said to myself, today was bad. Today was horrible. But tomorrow, that's the blessing in tomorrow. Tomorrow, I get to start over. I get to, because it's always, I, my daughter got in trouble one time, the oldest one. And she said to me, she wanted to talk to me, and I went in her room and, I said, you know, what's going on? And she said, Mom, I know I wasn't supposed to be doing the things that I'm doing, but can I have another chance? And I said, Zanaya, as long as you're on this earth, you can have as many chances as you want to. There's always room for a chance. There's always room for it. So, I have another chance. I have another chance to be Kimmy. I have another chance to be the right way to be me and not give a fuck what nobody else thinks about it. I have a chance to do what I wanted to do in life and be proud of myself even for those who have been negative to me, even for those who watch this video and it makes your little heart flutter that I'm so hurt right now. I have a chance to prove you wrong. I have a chance to show you that I can still get up from where I'm at. Because even though I'm down, even though I'm at this place, I can get up. I can get up because I have a chance. If God wills, I have a chance. So, I never post these videos, these type of videos. I always get scared of what people are going to think, of how people are going to view me. But I noticed earlier, when I posted the video prior to this one, that the feedback was love from the people that mattered to me. So that's all that shit mattered. With... And don't get me wrong, like, it's hard to talk about certain stuff, but it is, like, but I'm just not, I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to give up, I'm going to get up, and I'm going to push, and I'm going to see tomorrow, and the next day after that, if I need another chance again, I'll take another chance, and I'll do it again, 
and for those who stick it out with me through all of those chances because I'm going to mess up. I'm going to mess up. Those are the people that I'll keep. Those are the people that are important to me. The people who don't give up on me through all these chances. The people who are there. The people who come running when they know that I need them. Because right now I'm lonely and I'm doing it. And who's to say I won't be able to do it all by myself, you know what I mean? But, <clears throat> for example, I don't want to disclose no names after I posted my post. The person that I've always been able to count on showed up. Uh oh. That says a lot. That says a lot to me. That says a whole lot. Because it's like I didn't have to put a lot out there and this person knew that I was hurting and did everything that they had to do to get to me. To comfort me. So. <clears throat> it made me feel good. But I didn't come on here to do this. I didn't come on here to make anybody sad or um, I don't want pity. I don't want any of it. All I want in life is a chance to, to get up and fix me every day. Because I'm not going to get it right away and it's gonna be hard it's gonna be really hard but I no longer care I no longer care about what people think about me I no longer care about people who frown upon my decisions that I make at the end of the day when they go to dig my grave I'll be the only one going in there I'll be the only one in the coffin the only one in the dirt and the only one covered in dirt it's my life and I'm going to do what I want I'm going to do what I want from this day forward I'm going to say what I want I'm going to tell people how I feel and I'm not going to accept nothing but good vibes and people around me because I deserve it <clears throat> I'm not going to accept negativity I'm not going to accept people talking bad about me I'm not, I don't have to. I don't have to. Not so much accepted, but I'm not going to let it affect me. Because obviously if you watch my videos to see me fail, that there's something wrong with you. Because you don't have to watch me at all. But, let's see. I lied in life I'm still young I'm going to make so many more mistakes and I'm going to let y'all know this video took a lot to post seriously like it took so much to post so I might not post for a minute because I don't know even though I have found this newfound you know Kimmy I also still fear what people say or what, what they're going to say, but I'm still going to post it because it's out of my norm. It's not something that I would have done. So I'm still going to post it regardless. Now, how long is going to stay up? That's something different, but I am going to initially post it. <clears throat> but I pray. I pray today and I ask God to help me through all of this um, to bring people to me so that I won't be lonely through this the right people uh, I ask them to help me forgive people who have wronged me and I'm standing true on that I'm going to forgive and move, move forward because if I don't I'm just going to be miserable I'm, not, I'm never going to be happy so I have to do it. I have to do it. But I'm telling y'all now, like, it's been hard. It's been hard. These past, this past three months have been hard. Like, 
to feeling like I'm grieving by myself from being a mother, a single mother who doesn't have any help. It's been really, really hard. So, if there's anybody out there who is in the same boat, you got me. Like, you got me if you need me. I'm very, I could be very supportive. But I'm hoping that my struggle helps somebody else, the next young girl. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy. But I got my boots on. I'm laced up. And I'm in the ring. And I'm knocking everybody out who has some type of negativity, negative impact on my life. So, don't want to keep you guys too long. It's already a 36 minute video. Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to post for a minute. I just need some time to elevate. But I'm so happy. I gained three subscribers today, you guys. I don't know how much I can let you guys know that it's so important to me that I'm being supported in this way and so fast. Um, it goes to show that by posting videos that I'm making progress on my channel. So I appreciate it. I really, really do. I appreciate those who watch. I appreciate those who message me and comment and like um, and who support me. Through whatever I do, whatever decisions I decide to make, I really appreciate y'all. And like I said in my first video, I love y'all. I never say I love you if I don't mean it, but I love y'all because this helps me. It's very therapeutic beyond me loving what I do on YouTube. So, <clears throat> that was a hiccup. <clears throat> but I probably won't sleep tonight. Because I've been in and out of sleep all day. But hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. If not, I'll go through tomorrow the same way. Like I did today. And I'll get through it. And then the next day will come and the next day and the next day after that. So. I love you guys.